At a recent conference in Berlin organized by ECFR and the Konrad Adenauer Stiftung, Japanese and German experts, along with officials, gathered to discuss the findings of ECFR's audit on Japan-EU relations and future prospects of closer cooperation. Most agreed that more input is needed from both sides and that renewed trade relations are a good way to start. My sense is that we are moving uh, from an old world of trade, which was mostly about protecting domestic producers from foreign competition, to a new world of trade where obstacles to trade uh, stem from the purpose of protecting consumers from risks. And it's different. Now, the good news for the EU-Japan uh, future relationship is that EU and Japan have quite a bit of differences in fighting about eliminating obstacles that protect domestic producers in agriculture, in the car industry, in services, postal services, maritime transport and so on. This will be a tough negotiation. It will lead to an improvement and my sense is that there is an ample scope for, let's say, TPP plus trade opening in this area, but the most important area is the other one, the one that has to do with EU and Japan converging on standards, on things that have to do with precaution, health, environment, labor, safety of uh, toys, uh, cars, uh, lighters, uh, banking insurance. And in this area, I think there is also an important potential, probably even higher than the previous one, because EU and Japan, in a way, share the same culture about nature, about art, about music, uh, about animal welfare. So there is a sort of cultural convergence which will be more important in the future than it was in the past. And that's the reason why uh, I think it's a, it's a good thing, even if it will be tough and short term, it might not be that big, it has an important potential for the future. Some believe that one of the factors hindering closer ties might be cultural. Not only the Europeans, but everybody is pretty much affected. Even the Japanese themselves compare themselves to China. So it's all sort of about China and how we compare to China. The other thing, which is something to do with the Chinese, which is very different from Japan, so China is inherently a competitive society inside. It's very diverse, it's very big. And so their way of presenting themselves is naturally more assertive. So I think it's easier for the quote unquote Western audience um, to receive the message from the Chinese who tend to say things or put it this way, I mean, they express themselves where the Japanese won't necessarily be terribly expressive. And the Japanese don't say things if they feel they can't, they, they, there's got nothing to do with them. But the Chinese on the whole are more expressive. So I think that catches attention. So I, I think it's just one factor which is sort of a cultural difference between the Japanese and the Chinese and the way that they are able to attract. It's my answer.